It is Friday, April 8th of 2022. And uh, I'm so glad I'm at the end of this week because next week, next week is going to be action packed. Action packed! Sort of. <laughs> I'm going to tell you all about it if you're not already tired of hearing it. Today on Guy's Daily Drive. Bam! And welcome everyone to Guy's Daily Drive. As I make my way to my sucky loser work, as Troy is referred to it here, as they're watching me do this live, thank you, thank you to everyone who, uh, who comes to watch this live, I really, really do appreciate it. You can usually find me doing Guy's Daily Drive around... 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the United States on Mondays and Fridays. And occasionally, sometimes without sound, on Wednesdays around 4 p.m. as I am making my way to bowling. But I'm not going to be bowling this week. Not going to be bowling this week because Wednesday is going to be my prep day for the Birmingham trip and uh, I've talked about it so many times but I will recap just a little bit I'm going down to Birmingham Alabama from Northern Virginia to see the inaugural game of the USFL the New Jersey Generals versus the Birmingham Stallions though the locations of the teams don't really matter this year because they're going to play all the games in Birmingham, which works out well for me. And uh, what I did this morning, I wanted to, oh boy, look at that glare. When I, when I got up this morning and I got on the computer, I wanted to make sure I had everything set. So I have my rental car that I'm going to pick up Wednesday, like noonish. So that was one of the preps that I did already. I've got a mid-sized SUV that, uh, that I'm going to be using. And <clears throat> the other thing I'm going to be doing on Wednesday is final laundry, getting my bags packed, getting my electronics packed, making sure I have pretty much everything I need. All I really want to do when I get up Thursday morning is uh, get dressed, maybe pour some coffee. I don't know if I'm even going to bother. I may just get a big cup after I after I get on the road. Doesn't really matter that much, but um, gonna leave early. Gonna get up at four. That is the plan to get up at four o'clock in the morning on Thursday. But I'm gonna have, of course, all the clothes that I need. That'll be all packed up on Wednesday. All my electronics, so I'm going to have a laptop, I'm going to have my iPad, which will, which will mostly be used for watching movies and, and stuff like that while I'm uh, at the various hotels on, on my trip. And I'm going to take, I don't know how well this is going to work out, uh, I'm going to take a microphone because uh, I was looking at the schedule for the games... And the game, I can't get into the stadium until, I think, 6 o'clock on Saturday. So I've got all day Saturday. And since I have all day Saturday, uh, I very well could just go ahead and record remotely the MyMac podcast with Gaz on that Saturday while I'm waiting to be able to go to the game. Because, you know... Why not? Why not just go ahead and do that? I could go out and see some sites, but that's... You know, number one, I don't really know what's in Birmingham, and, and I'll, I'll look before I go. 
but it's not as much fun to do that kind of stuff by yourself. It's more fun if you have someone else with you. And Tracy is uh, is not wanting to go on this trip, and, and I get it. You know, it's a long trip for a football game that she doesn't care about, for a league that she doesn't care about. Whereas for me, it's just like I I look at this as just being well. Why not? You know, why not go down? See the first game of a football league that may or may not survive. I mean, who knows? But uh, at least I can say I was there. That, you know, I, I went and I saw more than one game. So I'm going to see the game on Saturday and probably one or two games on Sunday. But I will have time on Saturday to record the podcast with Gaz, depending on how things go. And uh, I will set up the laptop so that I can also, I don't, you, see, you know, here's because here's the thing. I don't know what Wi-Fi is going to be like. So what I may do is have Gaz record it. And if he wants to, he can put that. We have a common folder in Dropbox. He can put the audio files in Dropbox. And uh, I'll edit it. I'll edit it uh, from down there in Birmingham. But a lot of it depends. If I'm able to use StreamYard reliably, then he may not have to. I mean, I've never tried using StreamYard with anything other than like a really, really strong connection. So who knows how well that's going to work. But we'll see. You know, it, it's, it's always fun to experiment with these things. And I want to be able to do the things that I would normally do. And if I can't, then, you know, it just ends up being a big fail. But that's okay, too. So the plan, I'm going to get up early Thursday, probably, and hopefully leave the house before 5 a.m. And it's roughly a four to five hour drive, whoa, down to um, the Dun-Irwin area, which is my first stop, sort of my first stop. My first stop is actually going to be over in Winston-Salem to have lunch with a high school friend. And then that evening, you know, when I, when I leave there, I'll go down to the Dunn-Irwin area, I'll stay there for the night, and I'll have dinner, maybe breakfast, with Tracy's aunt and uh, her aunt's daughter, our cousin. And uh, then I'll finish the drive on Friday to Birmingham. It'll be seven hours, I think, around seven hour drive. And I'll have plenty of time. It's, you know, depending on what time I leave, I leave done. I'm not planning on staying there very late. And I will go to the Big and Tall store in uh, Smithfield, but it, a lot of that's going to depend on what time I get down to that area, whether I do it on my way down or if I do it on my way up. If I leave early enough, I'll have to check, I'll have to check the maps to see how long it would take me to get from Smithfield, North Carolina, out to Winston-Salem. Because I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep Carol, the uh, the woman that I'm going to be having lunch with, waiting. Um, so that's the plan to go have lunch with her, and then chances are, you know, when I when I leave there, I'll, I'll have enough time to go to Smithfield before I need to meet with uh, Barbara and Teresa for dinner. So maybe I'll do it then. Um, it, a lot of it's just going to depend on timing, how things are going, how well, hopefully that I won't have any problems with the car. It's a rental, so you'd think there wouldn't be any problem, but you never know. Things can always go horribly, horribly wrong. So that's, that's kind of the plan for Thursday. Friday, finish the drive. Saturday, maybe podcast with Gaz, maybe do some editing, go to the game. Uh, Sunday, maybe see a game or two that day. I've already bought tickets for 
both days and I've reserved my hotel all the way from Friday until Monday morning. And then Monday morning, get up and start the drive back and we'll see how far I get. I want, I would like to get, what would be really cool if I can work it out would be to get at least maybe into Virginia. There's no, there's really no reason for me to like push it so that I'm home Monday night. Um, we'll see how traffic is and how tired I am after everything that's going on. But there's really no reason for me to push that hard to get home on Monday. Though I, I definitely could, and it would save me, you know, money on a hotel room on the way back. I don't have any hotels reserved in uh, the Dunn-Irwin area. I don't have any hotels reserved for the drive back. The only hotel I have reserved is for when I'm in Birmingham. And it's, it probably wouldn't have been an issue, and frankly, the tickets to the game probably wouldn't have been an issue either. Uh, it actually cost me about $20 more, $10 a day, to reserve it through Ticketmaster, when I likely could have just gone to the gate and gotten tickets right there. But it was kind of like, why, you know, why take the chance? Just go ahead, get the tickets, spend the, the little extra that it costs because of effing Ticketmaster and their ridiculous jack-ups of prices. You know, $10 service fee on a $25 ticket, really? Really? You know, I, I don't understand why people, why businesses do business with Ticketmaster. Everybody seems to universally hate them, but if you're going to get your tickets ahead of time, unfortunately, it's one of the few games in town that goes to all the major events. But there's not much you can do about it. That's, that's Sometimes that's just how it goes. Anyway, those are my plans for next Wednesday to next Tuesday, I guess. So it's like almost a week. But I will be doing Guy's Daily Drives on the way down. I won't start one uh, on Thursday until it at least starts to get light. And I may time it so that I'm in a rest area or something like that, someplace where I, I know I'm going to have a decent enough signal and it's not going to you know, break up on my way down. That's happened to me before. Anyway, that is it. Thank you all so, so very, very much for joining me today. If you want to contact me, email address is guy at mymac.com or podcast at vertshark.com. You can also contact me through the Twitters. I am Mac Pettit and Vert Shark over there on the Twitters. If you want to see all of the odds and all of the vids, go on over to YouTube or actually all the odds and all the vids you can find over at vertshark.com, which is my website. If uh, all you want to do is see the vids, you can go over to YouTube. YouTube. Look up Vert Shark and then find my channel. And then once you've found it, I would really appreciate it if you, all of you, would like, share, subscribe. Did you see that the first time? Oh, it was so cool. Like, share, subscribe. So easy. It is so easy. I don't know why more of you haven't done it. Please, please, please do so. It really will help my channel over there on YouTube. I won't bug you with a bunch of crap. YouTube will probably let you know when there's stuff coming up on my channel, but I won't bug you personally with a lot of crap. I don't do that. Anyone who has followed me for years and years and years knows that I do not spam. Do not. Don't do it. Uh, what else? There's also a way to support me in other ways, as I just said, ways, ways, ways. You can go to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. You can go to coffee, ko-fi.com forward slash Mac Parrot. Or you can pay a pal at paypal.me forward slash Mac Parrot. And if you live in the Birmingham area, assuming anyone in that area will see this, would love to hang out with you while in Birmingham. Just send me an email or send me something on Twitter. And, uh, 
that's going to do it. Thank you. Thank you all so very, very much for joining me today on Guy's Daily Drive. I will talk to all of you on Monday. Uh, I can't promise I won't just recap all this same crap that I'm saying here, but I'm going to, I'll see if I can find something else to talk about. That would be, that would be a good thing. So you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. And I'll see all of you next time right here on Guy's Daily Drive. Bye-bye.